It's what? No. No. Oh. What? Oh no. What? There was a tip. There was a tip that was. It's it's. If you ever read Rich Dad Poor Dad, there was a tip number eleven. It's rude to ask people about their hand tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had known. I told you, dude. I told you not to do it. I know this shit. I know. It. I know this fucking how this works. <laughs> But, I, look, man. What? <laughs> what? Just wanted to make conversation. I guess, but. I'm so confused. Don't hurt yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Dean. He's Dean. That's Donnie. I'm Donnie. And we're continuing to play Dream Daddy. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe this game is charming. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... You know, it's one of those things where it's like... You really think... Oh, what? We don't get the Pokemon minigame? I'm, I'm guessing we have to keep going before we get anything. Do we have to win at it? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be a... Yet to beat the game to unlock a bunch of these sort of things too, I guess. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like you. I would say, do you really think Game Grumps would put their name on something that's crap? But it's like a lot of people have put their names on things that are crap. So I mean, you know, that's not exactly a shield against that quality. Look, man, I ain't speak for or against Game Grumps. No. That's... <laughs> It's a can of worms. I don't want to open. That's fair, but I, I mean, like, uh, like so many people are just like, "Oh, look, KG to food." They decided to put his name on this. That'll work out, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> look. <laughs> I don't think anyone knew who KG Inafune was before Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> think about it for a second. Think about it, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Mighty Number no. 9 happens. This guy's name is plastered all over it. Uh -huh. He claims to be the genius behind Mega Man. People eat that shit up. They're like, holy fuck, I wanted another Mega Man game. And then it turns out he has like barely anything to do with the original Mega Man series. And then nobody, <laughs> nobody knew who he was. It wasn't like Hideo Kojima coming coming out with another fucking game, and it's like, oh, I know that guy. He made my favorite game series. It's like, no, no. KG and Fune didn't do shit. <laughs> nobody knew who he was. They just, they didn't bother to do the research. Nobody looked into it. And now Mega Man 11 is out, and no one will ever remember who Inafune is, so... No. He's that one guy that run, ran that $4 million Kickstarter scam. <laughs> Anyways! He's, he's the guy that ruined Kickstarter. <laughs> oh right, a video game. Yeah, but that's, kind of, that's kind of important. Yeah. Let's, let's continue. Uh, are we? Yeah, hit it. Do it. Do we, do we want to talk about how... Uh, the Game Grumps actually have little or nothing to do with this game? Uh, please. Uh, by all means, because we, we did a little bit of looking into We did into minor this. research. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ninja Brian mm -hmm. did one song for this game, uh -huh. supposedly. Right. Uh, Aaron was the executive producer, uh -huh. which just means that he, you know, was the guy who's like, here's your money, here's your budget, and... I want it done by here. Right, right. It's what an ex ex executive, executive producer, producer does. does. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is what? where we left off. I yeah. forgot. Memes. <laughs> and Vernon Shaw, who was very, like, for a short period of time, uh, I think he did the editing for Game Grumps. Right. He's one of the writers. Right, right. Other than that, I recognize no names okay. other than voice cast. Right. The grumps are in the voice cast. That, that makes sense, I guess. Sure. So. At least three of them. Right. You know, so. the three that people care about. Right. Uh, Joseph's voiced by Aaron. Robert's voiced by Danny. Right. Brian's voiced by Barry. Right. 
and Brian did a song. Right. That's the whole game, Grumps Tie. Okay. All right. <laughs> they're, they're... Other than that, like, we gotta find out who those other people are and throw them some fucking props. Yes. Because everybody just knows this is the Game Grumps game and they didn't do shit. <laughs> they did a little bit of shit. They didn't do shit. They did a little bit of shit. A little bit. They they marketed it 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 it. They marketed it 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 it. They marketed it it. Okay. That's what they do. Yes. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I mean, I you mean, know, when you got the Game Grumps name behind you, that's the one hell of a marketing strategy. That's yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? They worked. We're you know playing. There's it. a fucking paperback book of this now. No. That's amazing. Yeah. How do they do that though? That's is it? Choose I your don't own, know. It's got to be choose your own adventure. Right? I didn't know. <laughs> you you can't have a visual novel translated into into a what do you call it paperback form. You know what happens? Why is there a mouse on the screen, oh, Dean? Why damn, you do this? Damn it! There, it's gone. Anyways, shall shall we continue? Uh, I don't want to. I don't know. You know me, I, I like ranting about games almost as much as playing them. Oh, no. I'll, I'll just get get ready. I don't know when in the timeline this is, but oh man. Oh, oh we're getting oh, ready man. for that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Anyways. Uh, <clears throat> memes. Sigh, which meme? All, all memes. Ugh. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Speaking of when is this in the timeline <laughs> and ranting about video games, mm. the memes. <laughs> yeah, she's face palming right there. There you go. You're, there you go, Bones. You got one already. Yeah. That's a good meme. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke to death. It's true. Yes. That's true. But, but also, <laughs> I really expected, with how long that bubble is, to just suddenly break into, like, full MGS2. I'm going to explain how information is passed down, Jack. I, I hope she talks about how, how older people, how boomers always find memes funnier longer than, than younger people. Is that true? <laughs> this is completely true. If you go to... Um, What's the correlation? I don't know. I, I guess they... I don't know what it is. They, they, they just... <laughs> okay. Okay. And what's worse is that TV... That... Uh, and what's worse is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on the meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will long be dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. Yeah. It's also true. Yeah. Man is fucking <laughs> preaching some truth right now. I don't know if I can take it. It's not comfortable. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> oh, he did it. The oh, man lands actually... <laughs> Congratulations, we just killed Donnie. Now. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting it. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a meme here to, like, punctuate that joke. I didn't know what meme I didn't it was going to be. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Want to go to that goth store? Oh, no. <laughs> what? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment, despite being an exact representation of the establishment. <laughs> wow, we were just, like, harsh truths all see, over today. See, uh, Hot Topic, Spencer's, uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh. Dude, freaking Hot Topic now is, like, it's... It's old. Like, yeah. it, it grew up. Yeah. It, it got out of its gothy teenager stage. Yes. I don't like it. Well, <laughs> well, now, now it's just... Now it's just the Comic-Con shill web, web, <clears throat> website. I was going to say, now it's just memes. <laughs> yeah, that too, I guess. But <laughs> Like, you just go there and there's, like, Rick and Morty shit. Yeah. Oh. 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 There's oh. No, uh, I just... Okay. No. Whatever. I 
don't know what store you're talking about? You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? What's he talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, the entire existence of that store is capitalism and, and cashing in on, on trends. Which is something that punk and hardcore did not want. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Huh? Dude, you gotta be more specific. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> this is true. I can't... <laughs> I mean, you started rattling off names yourself. The one you threw in that... Oh, threw up in that one time. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Are we just like trying not to name drop? Probably. Like, okay. they, they, they can't. They're gonna. We're going into cold. Uh, oh, that's a hot topic. We're going into this cold subject. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda runs in the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. Yes. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. <laughs> Vomit the vomit. Over. Okay. I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. All right. Speech. 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 All right. I'll do it if you stop chanting. Uh. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us all here today to commemorate a historic moment that forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amana and Trinidad had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. I forgot the last name was Trinidad. <laughs> it's such an awesome what? name. <laughs> Why did we do this? After begging her father to take her to Dead Goth and Beyond. That's an amazing name! Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. After begging her father to take her to Dead Goth and Beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she pr proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Yes! Her, her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. I hope she likes MCR. <laughs> oh, also... Oh. oh? Uh, just by coincidence, like, somebody linked me to a friggin' song. Uh-huh. Uh, that... One pun we couldn't figure out, the Chai Ant Word or whatever. Yeah. Is a band called Die Ant Word. Die Ant. I, I've never heard of them before. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me too neither. much for me. That's that's like, um, and, I'm, and I'm the one who's fucking heard of Godspeed you Black Emperor, so fuck it. Apparently. <laughs> well, I think it might be after our time. We're old men. <laughs> Either that or it's just not our scene, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amanda's moved. She begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, chain wallets. <laughs> I like how they just have a display of skulls. Isn't a chain wallet just kind of practical by this point? Like, it's attached to your pants, so you don't lose them. I don't know. <laughs> See, I like to keep the people who want to steal my wallet guessing <laughs> and a chain wallet just says it's over here idiot <laughs> okay all right that's fair <laughs> plus i mean that shit ain't sturdy yeah. if somebody like just reaches in for your wallet and books it that chain snaps that's yeah i've had more chain wallets snap just by existing <laughs> Then, you know, I've had wallets stolen. Fair enough. I've right. never actually had my wallet stolen. Okay. I don't want to start now. Yeah, let's let's, let's keep that on as a zero. While Amanda busies, her, busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much of a dad to look at in a dead goth and beyond. For a dad. Yeah. Peruse the band t-shirts, look at the ironic mugs, check the clearance bin for hot deals. Well, let's do the dad thing and check the clearance spin. Really? Gotta, gotta, gotta be economical here. We're just going full boomer with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It's a big cardboard box of markdown items. I'm pretty sure $4 for purple eyeliner is a good deal. I think. I wonder if I look good in purple eyeliner. Oh, no. <laughs> is this how we unlock cosmetics? 
no. I keep looking at, like, the fucking gothic <clears throat> Lolita dress, and I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even certain you could find something like that at a hot topic. Pro- probably not, question mark? I guess, I guess anyone in the know, please please inform us. Yeah, yeah. If, if you have visited a Hot Topic recently and or work there, please tell us. If you know where to buy gothic Lolita dresses. <laughs> Hell yes, I would. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, would you want to go goth dad? Or, or? Is this goth dad? I'm pretty sure this is. This has got to be. I totally want to go full Dracula with it, and it's just awful. Do it. Also, this could just be the kid again. Do it. What? Oh, whatever. Just, Not just, yet. Just, yeah. Okay, Not until we know who this is. Okay, that's fair enough. I Fuck it, you were right. It's Dracula. <laughs> I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I could cashier, right? This what? Yeah. That's a cashier. Okay. Do you want to do that or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see that. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. What? Oh, that's what he sounds like. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly had the held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. You want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Oh, you're the cashier? Yeah, I, I got this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. This guy's a total <laughs> fucking nerd! <laughs> so is the coffee shop, dude. <laughs> yeah, but he's a good nerd. Okay. <laughs> we, have, we have to separate good and bad this, nerds this now? This guy is some kind of posh dweeb nerd. <laughs> okay. This guy is exactly the kind of person that you don't want to be on the retail end of. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am the manager. What, what voice was I doing for this guy? I keep wanting to slip into Dracula just looking at his face. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. <laughs> Can I just nuggie this guy? <laughs> I think I could take him. <laughs> I don't know, dude. He looks pretty swole. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fucking, fucking. I thought, I thought. I right? thought, yeah. Especially you look at like the backgrounds and stuff, and they're just kind of they, they they look they they're they're really loose, you know. Mm-hmm. So I thought maybe maybe friggin' Aaron Hansen did the goddamn backgrounds. By the way. Even though I keep saying Game Grumps had little to do with this game, I'm still gonna fucking blame Aaron Hansen every time something comes up. <laughs> That's fair, I, I guess. He was executive producer. <laughs> yes. He wanted it this way. <laughs> I mean... The man whirls around and storms out. There's literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if the Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. <laughs> Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in hand. Oh boy. Here it comes. Hmm. What? <laughs> hey, Dad Trump 5000? Yes! I'll buy it for you. Huh. Wow, that was easy. Thanks! At least it's only one this time. Amanda <laughs> plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. Huh. Cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up. Radiating hatred. A hand or a 20. They don't even get to see his, his her, hair. <laughs> we don't even get a gender no. for this character. <laughs> so what was that guy's deal? <laughs> ah, the cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. Okay, we got a gender. There we go. <laughs> Confirmed female. 
That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, I don't like that title. <laughs> Long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers is on. Your favorite, right? <laughs> my, my favorite two reality shows, now in one. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. Ghost, ghost hunting and trucking. A ice trucking. Ice, right? tr ice trucking is a... Yes, is no. that real? Yes, ice trucking is a actual fucking reality show with quotation marks around it but they just follow the lives of people who fucking drive long distance hauling goods across alaska or what have you okay this, this is a thing this is a reality show thing fair enough <laughs> i feel like we keep like uh stopping to uh jaw <laughs> yeah. so i guess let's go on a little bit longer all right that's fine oh hell yes we have to make it over the canadian tundra before the ice melt road melts but they're also hunting ghosts. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> also, the trucks are haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying. It's Dean's turn to die. <laughs> God. This is an episode I already seen. It's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no! The ghost got done, got control of the truck! I can't steer them their ice damn ice roads! Can't. I can't. can't. I can't steer them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. <laughs> Fleet, we're about to die! I uh, almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds it sounds like it's saying you're going to die. <laughs> I lost hold of the accent, for a bit there, but also you're going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> you got, got a problem. problem. <laughs> you're you're going to die. die. That's because we are about to die, you! <laughs> this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. <laughs> Stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Cal and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Alright. My, I. <laughs> well. So, so now that we've we've met all of them now, right? Like that's it. That's all the dads. That's all the dads. That's all the the love <laughs> interests, I guess. <laughs> all right. Do we stop here? Yeah. Let's let's stop here because seems like a good place. We got a loading screen and everything. Yeah. We'll be back. Hey. Um.